Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Common Ground. Do you recognize that song? I'll give you a hint. Miss Adela and your other teachers have you sing it multiple times a day after you've gone to the bathroom or before you eat or when you come in. Any guesses? You wanna, you wanna guess? Penny Dog has just jumped up. She wants to guess. All right, I'll play it one more time. Can you guess what it is? Wash your hands, wash your hands, wa wash your hands, washy, 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 oh, washy, 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 wash your hands, wash your hands. That is actually the song Frere Jaca. And we use it to wash our hands. And so that is a great song to sing when you want to wash your hands for a long enough time. Thank you for letting me share that with you. And I'm so happy to see you today. But wait a second. We just had a weekend and it's our first day of the week. What day is it? Let's get Miss Jeanette to help us out. Good morning. Let's help Miss Liz figure out what day of the week it is by singing our days of the week song. First, we need to count how many days of the week there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're ready to sing our days of the week song. And I have my chart right here to help us. Let's sing. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I hope that helps you, Miss Liz. That's right. The first day of the week is Monday. Sunday, Monday. That's right. It's Monday. And it's a great Monday, and we're so happy to have you join us. We're so happy that rather than just my guitar that's right next to me, we're gonna have Mr. Josh play a fun song. So get on up and let's dance along and sing with Mr. Josh. Action. Hi everybody. I am Mr. Josh back for more of the Rock at the Blocks concert series from Common Ground. And today I'm gonna get some special help from my happy feet friends. This is a really silly song. I promise your kids love it. Stinky 
That was such a great song. I just loved it. All right, guys, we have a brand new story from Miss LJ. So here's Miss LJ. Hi, everybody, it's Miss LJ, and I have a wonderful new book for you. It's called Whoever You Are. And whoever you are out there listening, this book is for you. Little one, whoever you are, wherever you are, there are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different than yours. Their homes may be different than yours. Their schools may be different than yours. I don't know, that doesn't look so different, does it? See all these kids listening to their teacher? I hope you listen to your teacher at school. And their lands may be different than yours. Their lives may be different than yours. And their words may be very different than yours. But inside, their hearts are just like yours. Close your eyes. Listen. Bump, 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 bump. That's your heart and your chest. Bump, 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 bump. It's all the same. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Their smiles are like yours, and they laugh just like you. Their hurts are like yours, and they cry like you too. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Little one, when you are older and when you are grown, you may be different. And they may be different wherever you are, wherever they are in this big wide world. But remember this, joys are the same and love is the same. Pain is the same and blood is the same. Smiles are the same and hearts are just the same. Wherever they are, wherever you are, wherever we are, all over the world. We should love each other because we're different and we should love each other because we're the same. And as you grow, I cannot wait to see what kind of person you're going to be because you're gonna be so much more different than me, but our hearts will beat the same and I know you will do wonderful things for our future. Have a beautiful day. I just loved that story. Thank you so much for sharing it with us, Miss LJ. But I kind of want to go outside and play. What do you think the weather is going to be like? Let's check in with Miss Jeanette and she can go over our weather and then we'll look outside the window. Got it? All right. We are going to talk about the weather. So first, let's sing our weather song. What's the weather like today? Can we go outside and play? So what I want you to do is go up to your nearest window, check the sky and see what the weather is like. So let's talk about it. I have a special chart right here and I want you to look outside and tell me, is it sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun outside shining so bright? Is it cloudy? Is Mr. Golden Sun hiding behind the clouds? And all you see in the sky are clouds? 
Is it partly sunny? Do you see Mr. Golden Sun and some clouds hanging out around it? Or is it partly cloudy? Is there a lot of clouds and a little bit of sun? How about, is it rainy? Do you see dark clouds and water coming from the sky? Well, that's okay, rain is good. Rain helps our plants grow. Or is it windy? Is it the trees and the leaves moving about saying whoosh? So, take a look outside your window and you tell me what the weather's like. Hope that helps. All right, guys, what is the weather gonna be like today? What's it gonna be like, Penny Dog? Let's look out the window and find out. You guys, it's gonna be a sunshiny day. I'm so excited. It looks so sunny out my window. So why don't we have Mr. Josh sing all about Mr. Golden Sun? Oh, hi there. This is Mr. Josh for the Common Ground Rock at the Blocks concert series. And today we are gonna be playing Mr. Golden Sun. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. A Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. A Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. That is one of my favorite songs. I just love Mr. Golden Sun. Up next, we have another story from me. So sit back and enjoy. The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. Wow, this is a different take. I wonder what it's like. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, mother called the three little wolves around her and said, my children, it's time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves, and off they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please will you give us some of your bricks? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built, them, built themselves a house of bricks. There they are, building a house of bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves, wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden when they saw the big bad pig coming. They ran inside the house and locked the door. They're playing croquet. The pig knocked on the door and grunted, little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. He hopped and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. Just then they saw a beaver who was making, mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy slurry concrete. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of concrete. 
No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battledore and shutter, shuttlecock in the garden when they saw the big bad pig coming. They ran inside their house and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then, they saw a truck coming down the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armor plates, and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give, some, give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars, some armored plates, and some heavy metal padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Sure, said the rhinoceros. He gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armored plates, and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was generous and kind. He was a generous and kind hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt absolutely safe. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along down the road as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside their house, bolted the door, and locked all 37 padlocks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite and laid it against the house, lit the fuse and... The house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. See that? <sighs> something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different. But what? At the moment, they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? Asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo, and he gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. This is very interesting. One wall was of marigolds, one of daffodils, one of pink roses, and one of cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed with the wind, but it was very beautiful. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the little wolves had built. He rang the bluebell at the door and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. 
No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent was so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with a fragrant scent. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided to become a big, good pig. He started to sing and dance the Tarantella. At first, the little wolves were a bit worried it might be a trick, but soon they realized that the pig truly had changed. So they came running out of their house. They started playing games with him. They first played pig pog and then piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. Wow, I really loved this story. Did you guys love the big bad wolf, the, sorry, the three little wolves and the big bad pig? I loved it too. I loved that the pig became a good pig and that the wolves thought that the pig was big and bad and even the pig thought he was big and bad, but they were able to learn from each other and change and all become friends. And at the end, the wolves invited the pig in to their home so he didn't have to huff and puff, although the flowers made him happy. Well, that's it for circle time. Just remember that as we learn things, we can change our minds too, and we can grow. The more information, the better it gets. And don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. There's one more song for Mr. Josh coming up. See you tomorrow. Bye. Hi, everybody. Mr. Josh here for the next installment of the Common Ground Rock the Blocks concert series. Today, we're going to be doing a very fun song by Mr. Bob Marley. This is Three Little Birds. I said, don't worry about a thing, cause every little thing gonna be all right. I said, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be all right. Rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun. Three little birds who perch my doorstep. Singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true. They say, This is my message to you. I said, Don't worry about a thing, because every little thing is going to be alright. I said, Don't worry. up this morning, a smile with the rising sun, three little birds who perch my doorstep, singing sweet songs, a melody pure and true, they say this is my message to you, I 
I said, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is going to be alright. Say, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is going to be alright. Thank you, everybody. See you next time.